There are many reasons to visit Guilin. One of them is Guilin rice noodles. They are perfect for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In Guilin, you can find them just about everywhere on every corner. Here is one near our hotel, which is highly recommended by many travelers. Can I have a little bit of milk? The shop is rather small, but has everything you need to cook authentic Guilin rice noodles. But sure, you need. Do you see the camera? Guilin mi fen. I think I have everything in it. So beef, pork, probably horses. She says the darker one is horse. This is what meat? What meat? This is what? This is pig. Pig is pig's pig, right? This is pig. This is pig. Horse. 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 Pig skin deep fried. Pork barbecue pork. Hey, if anyone wants to eat, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. You know what? On the next day, we had rice noodles again for lunch. There are many things you can add to your noodles. Some of them are hard to identify. Besides of the usual stuff like fried peanuts or soybeans, sour long beans, sour radish, spring onion, and chili. There are also things like water snails, braised beef, eggs, and chicken wings. Good. There's nothing in it. No meat. Yeah. Good for snacks. Here is the world famous water snail rice noodles. Kind of stinky, super spicy, and lots of stuff in there. Wow. Lots of vegetables, deep fried tofu skin. Here is a water snail. Hopefully, I can get one out. Water snail. I have to eat the thing inside. And um, some seaweed. And lots of chili. Lots, ah, lots of chili. Good an appetite. Kind of salty and spicy. There is also a shopping district in Guilin City. In fact, there is at least one shopping district in almost all Chinese cities we went to. This one in Guilin is no different than others, which is packed with street food and delicious things. The best way to experience the beauty of Li River is to take the ferry from Guilin to Yangshuo County. The ride can take as long as four to five hours because of the low tide. However, it's definitely worth the time and money. Good.
By the way, I find the ferry attendant super cute, folding origami boxes with flyers and using them as trash bins. We ordered some snacks on the ferry, which cost 100 yuan, just about 10 to 15 euros. We have three here. These are all from this region. This is shrimps in this delicious, tiny fishes. It's taro. It's also from the, this region. What about? After finishing our lunch, it came all the highlights of the long ferry ride. Then this be the fish, shrimp, and basa. But yes, it's really good. <laughs> If not, click here, click here, click here. Every day watch new videos at 6 p.m. Here are my two recommended videos. Thanks for watching. See ya.